Good evening, everyone. I'm Archit Tashadri. Thanks so much for joining us. Happening this hour, a press conference at the Bar Council of India in New Delhi. Let's listen in. And after that, unanimously, one month the whole Bar Council, today, seven members, a delegation of seven members, we have made. These seven members of the Bar Council will meet with all the judges of the Supreme Court tomorrow. We have taken about 50 percent of judges' consent. We have taken time for them. बाकी जजे जो बाहर हैं उनसे भी हम कल से कल शाम तक उनका भी हमें को समय मिल जाएगा जो भी भावना पूरे देश के बार की है इस मुद्दे पर उससे हम सभी जजों को अवगत कराएंगे उनसे आग्रह करेंगे कि इस मसले का आप जल्द से जल्द शांतिपूर्ण ढंग से आप इसका निपटारा करें जो भी अगर आपको आवश्यक हो तो बार काउंसिल के हमारे प्रतिनिधियों का सुप्रीम कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन के ऑफिस बियरर्स का या हमारे सीनियर लीडर्स और सीनियर मेंबरान जो बार के हैं उनका मदद लें उनके मेडिएशन की आवश्यकता हो तो हम करने को तैयार हैं लेकिन हम इन कभी नहीं चाहते हैं कि हमारी जुडिशियरी की छवि धूमिल हो और ऐसे मुद्दे जनता में मीडिया के थ्रू बाहर जाएं जुडिशियरी हमारी सबसे महत्वपूर्ण अंग है हमारे संविधान की और लोगों की अभी अटूट आस्था है हमारी जुडिशियरी पर हम ऐसा कोई काम नहीं होने देंगे जिससे कि हमारे न्याय व्यवस्था और न्याय प्रणाली को किसी ढंग का कोई आघात पहुंचे। सर आज नरेंद्र मिश्रा मिलने गए थे सीजीआई से तो सीजीआई ने गेट से उनको वापस कर दिया क्या आपको लगता है कि सरकार को भी इसमें भूम भूमिका निभानी चाहिए और हस्तक्षेप करना चाहिए इस मामले को रिजोल्व करने की तरफ के लिए देखिए नृपेंद्र मिश्रा जी ने अभी कहा है अभी जो मीडिया में मैं देख रहा हूँ उनका स्टेटमेंट है की मैं मिलने नहीं गया था उधर से गुजर रहा था जो भी हो इस बात इस आ, आ, मुद्दे से हम वाकिफ नहीं है इसलिए इस पर कोई कमेंट करना उचित नहीं है जहां तक आपने बात पूछी सरकार की तो सरकार ने माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने और हमारे माननीय कानून मंत्री जी ने कल ही कह दिया कि ये उनका अंदर का आंतरिक मामला है इसमें हम दखल नहीं देंगे और पूरा बार पूरे देश का बार इस चीज को काफी अप्रिसिएट कर रहा है इसकी काफी प्रशंसा हुई है कि सरकार ने जो कि लार्जेस्ट लिटिगेंट है उसने खुद को कह दिया कि हम इसमें इस आंतरिक मामले में नहीं पड़ेंगे जुडिशरी के लोग सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जजेज इसको खुद अपने अंदर इसको सुलझा लें तो ये हमको लगता है कि सरकार का एक सराहनीय कदम है सर इस पूरे मामले में सरकार की तरफ से कहीं चूक आप देखते हैं क्योंकि दूसरी देखिए सरकार के बारे में या हमारी सुप्रीम कोर्ट के बारे में एक जो मुद्दा उठाया गया है एमओपी से रिलेटेड पत्र में एमओपी हम का हमारा भी ओपिनियन है हमने भी उस पर डिस्कस किया एमओपी जल्दी से जल्दी फाइनलाइज होना चाहिए लेकिन एमओपी पर सबसे बड़ी बात यह है कि पिछले दिनों लगभग एक डेढ़ दो साल से एनजेएसी के पॉइंट पर जो जजमेंट सुप्रीम कोर्ट का आया उसके बाद भी अपॉइंटमेंट होते रहे हैं और इस कॉलेजियम के द्वारा ही अपॉइंटमेंट हुए हैं तो एमओपी का जो मसला है वो सचमुच और उसको सही ढंग से उसका निपटारा होना चाहिए हम सबसे ये बात करेंगे सरकार को भी हम चिट्ठी लिखेंगे लेकिन ये भी कोई इतना बड़ा मसला नहीं है कि इसको हम पब्लिक में लेके जाते Five look happening in New Delhi. A press conference with the bar council meeting a day after four of the senior most judges of India Supreme Court, which revolted and questioned the role of the Chief Justice of India. In fact, the Supreme Court Bar Association meeting right now to discuss the way forward and figure out next steps. Reports say the Bar Association feel the judges really should not have gone to the media and addressed that issue publicly and instead sorted the issue out internally. Reports also suggest that the Bar Association feel that the Chief Justice of India should have talked about the issues. Well, here's how it all went down yesterday. An unprecedented press conference on Friday when the judges said they wanted their public opinion after 
They were trying to alert the chief justice about their concern to fail to make any sort of progress. In fact, the four judges, the Justice Chalameshwar along with Justice Ranjan Gogoi, Justice Lokar, Justice Joseph Kurian, all alleged that the administration of the top court is simply not in order. Well, the judges alleged nepotism in the assignment of the cases. They also questioned transparency in making roster and the appointment of judges. Meanwhile, the Attorney General K.K. Venugopal expressed hope of the issue being settled. Let's go straight to Weon's political editor, Kartikeya Sharma, who was tracking the story ever since it broke yesterday. Kartikeya, you in fact one of the first people that broke the story. You had these sources on hand. Now fast forward more than 24 hours later, as we speak, the Bar Association addressing and reviewing the situation. How did we get here? How did this go so far? And where do we see this moving forward in the days to come with respect to India's top court? Kartikeya? See, what has happened is, you know, the I'll answer, I'll answer this question in three parts. One is that it has created a piquant situation when it comes to Indian judicial system. Second is the consequences within the judiciary. And the third is consequences for judiciary in context to the political climate of the country. Now, when I say piquant situation, I say piquant because it has made the Chief Justice of India uh, sort of a suspect. It, it, there is no charge of corruption. There is no charge of uh, there is no uh, charge of financial irregularity. There is no motive, but the charge is that of misconduct. Misconduct. The charge is that with deliberate uh, purpose, senior judges have been sidelined. Now this is something which comes within the moral sphere. So which means that the judge will have to, the Chief Justice of India will have to clear clear the air if it wants his office to be beyond question because the CGI has to be like Caesar's wife above suspicion. Second is the lawyers feel that the matter could have been resolved internally. You went to the press, you allowed people to look into the affairs of the judiciary, which have casted, uh, which, which, which has actually created a, a you know, it's, it's like a doubt in the mind of people when it comes to the functioning of the judiciary. Third is, will it create uh, some sort of political el elbow room for the government to push for national judicial accountability bill, which was basically a mechanism which was devised by the UPA, then passed by the NDA for the selection of the judges of the Supreme Court and High Court. This bill was brought down, suspended by the judges of the Supreme Court. And since then, the government has not reacted to it. So will that happen? Will that phase be created? So I, I, I think uh, my sense of understanding is that this story might receive less political headlines but the consequences will be there for a long time to come. Because it's not about uh, four judges coming out and saying, well, we think that uh, CGI is not doing a good job. It's about that if four judges feel the CGI has not done a good job, it means that without uh, any accountability, this institutional judiciary, uh, which is so important, uh, can be open to arbitrary decision making. So you know, it raises a lot of ethical questions also. So in this context, the Bar Association members want this matter to be resolved amicably and internally without any political intervention. Karthika, you know, what's also interesting as well, we're seeing a lot of chatter on social media when it comes to this decision, whether this should have been handled internally or whether this should have been exposed the way it came out. There's also a lot of back and forth politically between the BJP and the Congress uh, about the blame game. I mean, really... Where do we stand on that? The fact that the political parties are sort of uh, uh, pointing the fingers, I mean, uh, uh, is that just them sort of taking advantage of a situation that is volatile when it comes to what happened with these four senior most judges uh, pointing blame with the judiciary system? No, but, yeah, Archit, the problem is that uh, in the context of Indian judiciary, and that's the Supreme Court, you have a system of collegium. The system of collegium runs on the com uh, comradeship of five, or uh, let's say, ten most or six most uh, senior judges. Now that comradeship is should be built on trust, uh, complete uh, openness in transaction of business, and uh, secrecy, which 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 allows the business to be conducted freely within, but is not uh, available for general public to debate and uh, to be politicized. The whole edifice collapses when the four people, from number two to number five, says that the number one has become very arbitrary. And he might be the number one, 
but it does not make him his our superior. So what happens in long run is, uh, are there certain principles of interaction between CGI and the senior judges also comes into question? That is why, if you look at editorials published today, right. a lot of people have said that he is master of the roster, but doesn't mean that he's he's not accountable. He cannot be arbitrary. So now, pe- now you have people writing on judges in terms of their accountability, and accountability is something which is the most fundamental facet in any democracy. Even judiciary cannot uh, excuse itself. Uh, from saying that they cannot be accountable because everyone is accountable to people when it comes to democracy, even the judges. So these are the ethical questions which the CGI or which the judges or which the uh, learned uh, legal luminaries right. will have to resolve. And, you know, Karthika, you know, just moments ago, we heard the Bar Council uh, forming a seven-member delegation saying that they are slamming those judges for going public with those questions and concerns. It should have been handled better. And in the coming days, they're hopeful for a some sort of a reconciliation, a resolution at the earliest. Uh, but globally, let's sort of talk about that perspective. Where does this put India uh, on the global map when it comes to uh, the question of its own judiciary, uh, the sitting judges questioning the process when it comes to uh, the judiciary system and the bedrock of democracy. Uh, I mean, certainly uh, that is dominating the headlines uh, as we speak. And now the Bar Council is saying what those judges did was not correct. See, there are two views. A lot of people say that uh, they should not have gone public. But uh, some people, some, there are a lot of people who are saying that uh, in, in, a very, uh, in, in a very gentlemanly way, they agreed to disagree. And they disagreed uh, without uh, trivializing the matter. Uh, I would say, uh, as a journalist, that I, I, I think uh, for the judges, senior judges, to come out and say something like this must have uh, m- must have been so important that it had to be shared with people. And uh, yes, I fundamentally believe that if judges feel that the composition of the benches or uh, if the selection of cases are going to the junior judges and is violating the principle of seniority, then uh, the judiciary must find out the alternative principle of functioning. Because, as you know, Archit and armed forces, bureaucracy and judiciary, or the services, the principle of seniority is very important. So it's a very complex issue. A lot of people will say, well, you know, he might be giving the cases to junior judges so that they can educate themselves in terms of cases. But does it mean that the right of the senior judge to look into the most serious cases will be taken away? So these are fundamental acts of balance. Uh, and, 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 I, and I would just to, see, to put it simply here, what happens from now, what, ha- what is required is some sort of an explanation, some sort of an, uh, a message from the highest position in the judiciary that the dignity, the transparency and the integrity of the judiciary remains intact. It has not been, right. uh, it, has, it has not evaporated. Right now, the issue is not what will the CGI do. Right now, the issue is Will judiciary be able to restore the faith of Indian public in the highest apex court? Right. I think that's where the fundamental question is.